Hello YouTube and welcome to another Windows 2019 tutorial. So in this video I'll show you how to install and configure Windows 2019 NPS as Radius. So are you ready? Let's get started. So here as you can see I am under Windows 2019. So the first thing that we have to set up is to add actually NPS. So for that you go to your search and you type uh, server manager or just manager okay so me I already open it so this is our server manager so we first have to install or add a rule so go to manage add roles and features okay so it's couple of next next so I will go next it's a role based or feature based installation so I will go next I will choose my current server here we go and here you can see network policy and access services so this is the role that we must add so I'll check this box and immediately I have to add features that are required for network policy and access services so I'll add these features and I will hit next and then next and another final next and install so we have to wait a little bit in order to installation to complete okay so now you can see that installation has succeeded so I can close this wizard here we go I can even close my manager and I go to administrative tools so I'll just type here tools okay so in this administrator tools you can see an icon has appeared its name is network policy server so with this console we can configure our NPS as radius so I will double click on this network policy server here we go and this is my console where I can configure actually my NPS as radius server so the most important thing here to note is these policies okay so under this policies you will find two important th things so there are connection request policies and network policies so the connection request policies are set of conditions and settings that allows designating which radio server perform authentication authorization of connecting requests so connection requests deal with actually connecting requests as the name suggests okay so if I click on it there is one by default so if you want to see what it is inside it you can just double click on it so this is the name so the policy is enabled and here are the conditions so this condition mean actually that we can perform authentication authorization anytime any day of the week okay so you can double click on it so you can see any time any week of the day, any day of the week it's permitted okay and here the most important thing is under authentication so here you can choose which server will perform the authentication so here the authentication request on the server so this current server will perform the authentication if you want to use the server as proxy and forward request to another server you can just do this new here and forward the request to another radio server but we are using our current windows server as the authentication server so we'll keep with the default here okay so you can keep this one untouched and we go to the network policies so here the network policies are also conditions and constraints and also settings that 
allow designating who is authorized to connect okay so here it will show us who is authorized to connect so let me just delete this one it was a test here we go so by default you get two you can keep them connection to microsoft routine and the remote access server it's enabled but it denies access and there is also connection to other access servers it's enabled and it's deny access but let's create our own in order to test this radio server okay so i will just right click on this network policies and i will choose new so let's call it test policy for example and i will hit next so for the condition you can add whatever condition you want so here i will choose a windows group which contains the user that we want to allow access so i will choose this window group here and i will add add a group and here you can choose whatever group that you have previously created i created a group called radius group in order to allow all its users to connect so all i have to do is to mention here the name of my own group so make sure to create a group you can name it whatever you want and put any users that you want to allow access so i will check if it exists and it exists in this server okay okay so here we are allowing actually a windows group that contains some user to connect to our radio server if you have active directory group you can do the same also but instead of windows group you choose users group and you add it just simple you have to choose here which active directory that you have and search for the group that you have created okay you can also add condition related to day and time so you can choose a specific day or specific time to allow for example users to connect okay but me i will just not add this one so you can connect any time any day of the week okay so the only condition that we have added here is a windows group that contains some user in order to connect okay so i will go next and here we specify if we grant access or grant deny to this user so by default here it chooses access granted so i will stick with that because we want to allow user to connect and i will hit next and this is the actually the final step here we have to choose the authentication methods okay so you can add whatever connection method that you want so here i will stick you can add for example microsoft protected eap so it's the most common one but it needs a certificate and here also we can uh, use ms chop version 2 or ms chop okay but for me i will add another one it's unencrypted pap authentication because i will be testing with the client and this client uses this protocol but if you are using it in a production you should not use unencrypted authentication but me it's okay for me because it's just for testing i will hit this box in order to allow my client to connect to this radio server and i will hit next so here is a message because this pub is insecure that's why i told you not to use it in uh, production okay here we go so we have finished next and finished so here you can see the test policies and it's better to make it to move it up so it will be executed first so this is our test policy that we will be using okay so those are the main actually settings that you must add in order to configure NPS as radio server okay so remember we have created a group called radius group okay 
that contains users that we want to allow access okay so in the final step under radius client here we must add our radius client so i'll be using workstation in order to test the connection to this radius server so let me delete this one and create another one so by default there are no radius client so let's add my workstation because i'll be using it for testing so here you can add friendly name so i will just call it workstation here you specify the ip address of the workstation so mine is 192.168.1.15 and it is shared secret so this shared secret must be the same in the server and on the client in order to connect the connection will be possible with two so remember here we are configuring the client so you can choose whatever shared secret that you want but it must be secret or complex but me i will use just password because it's just for testing so password here we go there is advanced tab but here we are sticking with the default so i will hit ok so remember this is our workstation which is a client that we will be using in order to test our radio server so finally now we have finished setting up nps as a radio server so the next step is to test it so i will be using a client on my workstation in order to test this radius client okay so the client name is nt rad ping tool so it's free you can download it for free so now let's me switch to my actually workstation in order to test that so this is my nt rad ping test utility which is free you can download it from the net and it's now I'm on my workstation so here I have to fill in the radio server IP address so it's 192.168.1.55 here we go so for the port I will leave it like that because it's the default port for the radio secret key is the shared key that we have configured in the server which was password so I will type here password it's maybe the same it's can it must be the same on the server and client and here there is the name of the username that we have created inside our radius group so inside my radius group I created radius user okay and the password for this radius group was also password here we go and here for the request type we choose authentication requests so these are all settings that you must configure in this utility in order to test your radius server and I will hit send and here we go you can see that we have response access accepted which means that our radius server is working properly because it has allowed access to this user radius user and with this password so if we change for example this user so let's make another user that that does not exist in our radio server so for example 01 user 01 and if I send it here you can see that now that access is rejected because this user here radius user 01 does not exist in the group that we have created in our server okay so here you can just test that your connection to this server is working properly okay and also if you changed this radio secret key for something else you will not allow access okay you can see we have still access rejected but if we go back to the same secret key now we have access accepted okay 
So that was just a brief uh, introduction how to use or configure NPS on Windows 2019 as Radius. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.